This is Gordon Pepper, and welcome to Boarama over in Delaware. We have a number of World Championship Series title matches here today, and we're going to start off with somebody that I just did commentary for last weekend. Hello, Andre Harris. How you doing? Welcome back. Doing all right. Doing all right. How are you doing? Doing good. Now, I see this is a nice, tiny little cruiserweight belt that you got over there. Very nice. Very nice to have. Very nice to have. Tough match up today, but we won't get it done. Well, talk to me about your opponent who's hanging out right there. He's just like, eh, Never okay, whatever. Another tough opponent from the DMV. What's his name? Uh, that is Pilar from Frame for Murder. Mm -hmm. another, another member of the DMV South. So we're doing really good in the mess right now. We're going to try to keep it going. But the plan is to take both back home. I'm going to say, Dean stands for dominating. Now let's see if I can get your opponent over here. Ah, now he's paying attention. <coughs> he's no longer playing with his phone. He'll still be playing on the lanes. How you doing? Now, if this I remember. Early, but I Hey now. <laughs> now, first of all, there's a shiny over belt over here. It's currently being worn by Andre Harrison. I have a feeling you want it. So how are you gonna get it? Alright. Now you're from Frame for Murder. Now this is a team that we don't see a lot of in the World Championship series. If you win this, this would be Frame for Murder's first title. What would that mean for you in terms of repping them? Yes, you are. I believe this playoff started today. You guys are pulling in it, if I, if I believe mathematically. There you go. And therefore, yeah, you will be pulling in it. So I wish you the best of luck. Good luck to both of you. All right, I'm going to go start a practice. Meanwhile, I would like to introduce this guy. Some of you may be familiar with him because he's had a couple of these belts. Josh Valdez, welcome to the party. How you doing? Thank you. Appreciate being here. Want to see a nice, good bowling today. That's what we're here for. We're going to see. Unholy. Got to show out. Got to show out. All right. I'm going to go over there. You're going to go have some fun. I'm going to have, go have some fun. We are here all day, all night today. we got four matches coming up. This is one of them. I'll be back momentarily.
All right, this is Gordon Pepper. I'm here with Josh Valdez, and we are starting. Here we go. Watch both of these guys practice. And they seem to uh, spread the ball around. They don't seem like they're both looking from different angles. So we'll see how they start. So what, one of the things, and, and you pointed this out, they're looking for angles, number one, number two. It didn't seem like either of them was too confidence in anything they were doing. Right. There were some very badly placed fair attempts, which I would say people should be happy that they're seeing that during practice and not during real time. You know, it would be much more entertaining if it was done during real time. Right. So, Challenger is up first. Now, how do you pronounce the name? I have no idea. Yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> but, um... He started off with this ball in practice and then he went away from it. So I'm assuming that, I mean, he went back to it, he started with it, so I'm assuming he saw the shot that he wanted and he looked for something else. I love the seven pin. First ball, seven pin. Yeah, I, I think, I know Andre Harrison is a champ. Uh, last time that I did one of his matches, he came out like a house on fire. And really set the tone and really did not give Karan Henderson, who was his opponent, much of an opportunity to get back into this one. Game playing here. Again, they both look a little bit tentative. Right now, I see staring at everything is the challenger for the heavyweight title. And we're going to have a match later on with Ducky Russell. Hello, Ducky. 
Yeah, we're, we're, uh, as I said, we started off tentative, and there it is. Stay, stay, stay focused with a little nervous. I know this is a big stage, UVA, unholy, very big stage. Uh, this is where you make a name for yourself. I remember my... Or oh, this oh, name gets... Or oh, oh, your name gets... Your name gets run over like a steam truck, yes. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Either you make it, you make it or you break it, you know, unholy. So, by the way, um, Andre is UBA nickname, Where's My Hose? Before you decide that you want to take this conversation in a direction that it may not want to go to, he's a fireman. Ah, okay. And so, therefore, we're talking so about a fire hose. Oh, fire hose, got it, got it. I not was any ask. other sort of hose. I was, I was gonna not ask. a Jim Hosier right. sort of hose. Right. Right. I was gonna ask right. where his name comes from. I always right. like to hear the, the origin of people's yeah. names sometimes. So. Now Daniel, who is the challenger, is Daniel's son. Daniel's son. Daniel, son. So he's obviously a Karate Kid fan. Either, either a Karate Kid fan, maybe he has a son named Daniel. Or maybe he has a son named Daniel. You know, we'll have to ask him about that. Yeah, absolutely. Harrison right now looks like this fair. That ball looks okay. Quick lead for the champion. For everybody that just tuned in, this is a best of seven matchup. Real simple, whoever gets the four games first wins. If Andre Harrison gets the four games, he keeps the belt, and because this is February, Mega Bowl's in March. So if, if my numbers are right here, and if I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll be corrected, this is the last match before Mega Bowl. Correct. So should he win this, he will be representing the North going into Mega Bowl. And obviously, Mega Bowl is not for the South. So he will be going up against the Southeast version, or the counterpart of what the Central League champion will be. And I just saw, I just posted, they just posted this South Cruiserweight list. Very impressive. That, some, that is a bear. There that are some bear. There are some bowlers on there that I've seen on the heavyweight list before. And that's a five. And that's a five pin. So everybody put your hands up. Everybody put your hands up. We got five. A five we got a five, we got five pin over here. Five pin. Five pin over here. Five pin. Hello, hello. Nobody's paying attention. It's too early for people. Sally. Hey, yo, yo. Sally Cam, over here at five pin. Five. We got a five pin over here. Thank you. Now in the UBA, if you miss a five pin, you get powder. Does anybody get on your team, pounds? or you pay a penalty? Or you pay a penalty. I think it should be an automatic. If it is a title match and you miss a five pin, you're getting powdered. Getting powdered outside after the match. By us, both uh, on the table. By us, we'll powder both test. of you. I think I got some powder in my. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that ball. Oh. Right, 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 right. Oh. 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 <laughs> five pins down. Five pins down. <laughs> You're all saying pipe down. <laughs> You're all saying pipe down. Both of you know I heard applause coming from the back there was a uh Oh. Uh, oh. There was a little. There was a little. Sugar. I, I heard that deep breath. I heard a breath. Ah, uh, Chipwick. Daniel Sun is up. Andre Harrison now, by the way, with close pick with two spares. Daniel's up looking for mark number one, and there it is, and it's in the striking variety. I saw that in practice. He had that ball in practice, he threw an exact line, and then he went away from it. I guess he knew that this is the ball he was going to use. Now, despite the yips that he had in the first frame, another strike over here, and he takes the lead. Oh, now everybody, the queen of ball motion's coming over. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, I want to know what she's saying right now. I want to know what's going on over here. I, I see a noticeable demonstration over there with you two. What's going on over there? I was, I was telling you, put on the roof. Put on the roof? I thought what you were saying is, don't leave the five pin and miss it or else I'm going to be coming over there. And then there'll be something else going in your throat and it may be your fist. <laughs> now you're starting to take the lead. Okay, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, right now we have one dash for two X's for Daniel. So Daniel, inquiring minds want to know, first of all, how do you pronounce your last name? You said, what Farrar. Because I'm really good at mutilating bad names. I'm really good at, I'm really bad at the young yeah, name with that. Now, you have Daniel's son in the back. What does that represent in Jersey? So, two parts. Yes, two parts. One of them is I'm a Jew. Uh, so your baby name. Okay. Ah! Uh, 
By the way, other side bets that we're going to be having is this is the first of four matches for me today that I'm going to be commentating. And ooh, four in a row. Seven ping goes down. And uh, Bolarama is traditionally a uh, left handed haven. Yes, it is. As a lefty, I've done very well there. As a, as a lefty, I can tell you that I shot my first game. Very nice. Yay, lefties. Kind of the lefties. Yay, lefties. lefties. And then the other question I'm going to have is, how long will my voice hold on? Uh, because I had to do this four straight days, and my voice did not hold on in August. It healed over on, the, on day number four. However, none of those days I had to go four in a row. I've got to go four in a row today. So the question is, will I have any voice tomorrow? Uh, Harrison, 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 I'm sorry. Oh. Hey, and we got, we got some noise from DC. Capital. Andre before he was looking for his hose. He's also looking for strikes. He finally found one. He's down by around 20 
two pins or so. So it's got plenty of time to make this up. We're only at the halfway mark of game one. Double hit, double hit to, to put some pressure on that. Yes, sir. Big shot here for Harrison. First hey. Yes, it is. Harrison now with the double of his own. And you're right, here comes the champ. Yeah, Daniel was talking about the karate kid references. Well, he can stop him up. Still going to continue to wax on. He does not want to be waxing off at this point. And I know the second that I just said what I just said, everybody's gonna be like, pause, pause. That, that might be a little, a little drop coming out. It's too early Saturday, be, 10 a.m. No, it's never coming. too early. Definitely gonna hit out again, boy. Oh, we'll hear plenty of times for all. Oh, he didn't like that. He liked it. There's a reason for it. Stone he wasn't happy with it. I actually thought that ball had a chance of uh, pulling on and carrying. I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was good also. Daniel right now still with the lead as long as he keeps the spare. However, that, that lead won't be very much, but he will still have one. Spares keeps the game though. That's one of the reasons why you gotta, even if you can't find something, you get too frustrated. Spares will keep hitting games. So me and Dan makes this. And he wins. And right now he's got a one potential 138. If he goes out the door, that's 258. If Andre goes out the door, it's 257. So right now, Razor's edge of a lead for Daniel as he goes into the seventh frame. And obviously, I will say it, he's got to throw a strike here to get the lead. If he doesn't, that lead can vanish. This is the cruiserweight division, so they're a little bit lower average. So will the pressure get to them when it gets late? We shall see. Right now, seven frame first shot, that ball looks good, it is. He gets the seven pin down. Still is going to hold on to the lead, regardless of what it is. Andre Harrison could make this incredibly interesting. Andre Harrison again coming up, seven frame. Trailing by one pin. In order to stay trailing by one pin, this next has got to be a strike. If it's not, he'll be trailing by more than one pin. Shot right now, Harrison's looking for three in a row. That ball's a little high. Got out of trouble. Well, yes and no. Yeah, he's out of trouble, but. He's now down by 12, the best that he can be. He's down by 12 pins, he's gonna have a spare, and he's running out of frame. And you and I both know this as competitors. When you're at this point of the match, you're now not only looking at scoring, you're looking at what do I need to do to close out my opponent. I'm sure Dan's gotta be thinking this at this point. He's gotta strike, obviously the easy answer is, well, those strikes, dummy. But again, when you're sitting there, it's different. You're not thinking I'm gonna throw strikes. You're thinking, what do I need to win? What do you need to win? Right. So like, if I don't throw a strike, what can I do and get away with? And before you say no, you're not thinking that. You're thinking that, aren't you're, you? You're, you're absolutely I'm thinking that. Hey. I'm, not, I'm not great at that. So usually I just say, if I throw strikes, Oh no, I've been up there and I've been telling That's it. That's in tag team, I've been telling uh, my partner over here, like, hey, listen, you need this. Or, and sometimes it's important because you don't want to be too aggressive and, you know, I can't even say, don't be a hero, you only need more. Go a safe shot. If it's fair, we're, we're done. Then we can move on. That's important. Andre, on the other hand, he's Got two throw strikes here. He's got to be aggressive. Eight, eight, Trailing nine, by ten. twelve, absolutely. Eight, nine, ten, and here's eight. eight. Oh. All right, where, where's that lady? I want to see that lady. Hugged it where, twice where? in a row. Yep. Hugged. She will not be happy when she up oh, there. She is. The ladies over there. She will not be very happy when she sees what's going on. I may have to go over and say hi to her. That, that, that's terrible for a number of reasons. Number one, obviously, you don't want to make that shot. 
Number two, and more importantly, Daniel right now is in the cap routine. A huge opportunity for him. And now he's at that point that he doesn't really have to throw any strikes. Obviously, you want to throw strikes, but the best that Andre can do is 212. If Daniel goes Dutch, that is a 218. So all he needs to do is walk, he's fine. He does not need to throw strikes. Obviously, he wants to. And a strike right now will make his life easier. Keep it easy. Yes. Once you're ahead, you get comfortable. Exactly. You don't want the pressure on you if you're behind. You fall behind one game, and next game you have a little pressure on you. Fall behind two games. Oh. You know, a funny thing happened on the way to the paycheck window. You know, we're, we're saying that Dan just needs to mark. I'm going to safely say that there's a very good shot he will not do that in the 8th frame, and all of a sudden we got ourselves a ball game. Now we have a game again. Andre, wherever the hose was in firefighter land that has helped you. That, definitely. All right, so we're actually calling you over here because your, your buddy Andre did that in the 8th frame, and, and we want to know what, what's, yeah, what's your reaction to that. He's taking your head already. Uh, 467. Oh my goodness. A except Dan just returned the favor and left us have a 10. And now we have a 14 minute game. Got a match, very nice match. frame. So it, whatever advice you need to give to Andre, I strongly recommend that you do it right relatively now, quickly. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Yes, yes. <laughs> So the advice is throw it throw better. Throw it better. That's the advice. Can't get Dan's getting that. that same advice also. Throw it better. Better than that. Throw it better. Even though the one big difference between Dan and Andre right now, Dan does not have a support committee. And Andre and I right now has got the angriest queen of ball motion that I've seen in a while. And mm. Did you like the last one? This is a big spare. This is a big spare. That is a huge spare. Obviously. If he makes this, Andre cannot lock him out. If he misses this, Andre can lock him out. Big spare right here. Big spare right here. Now, now. DMB is taking over the cruiserweight. Yeah, DMB is taking over almost every division. I haven't seen that momentarily. Actually, I haven't seen this yet. The current heavyweight champion. Everybody's from the DMV. This is from the DMV. We're we'll going to be chatting about this later. South Jersey, I believe, has got some of the other belts. And he'll hold on. So, Dan cannot be shut out. He will be relevant in the 10th frame. The question becomes... I'm sorry. The question becomes, what will Andre do? Andre, obviously, he's got to get a couple of marks in, or else Andre will not be relevant in game one. And then Dan can take a breather, throw some practice shots. You know, if you're Andre Harrison, you've got to make sure that you force uh, Dan to show up. Right, correct. You've got to, you've got to put some pressure on him. Ninth frame, so that he at least has some more in his And I'm sure Karan Henderson may be looking at this and going, "Where was this against me?" <laughs> right now, oh, I don't like that ball either. Ooh. Oh, it yeah. held. That one held on. I thought that ball was going to eke out there. It did not. <laughs> and we have voices from the from still the angry queen of ball motion. I thought she was on the next pitch. She's actually she's all the way four down. Four pairs down. Four pairs down. And we can hear her very loudly. <laughs> Tenth frame coming up. Harrison right now down by 14. However, he has a strike compared to Dan's spare. So if he goes out the door, he forces Dan to throw the first two. Got to, got to put some pressure on him. He does. And if he wants to put the pressure on him, he's got to be a striker. First ball here, 10th frame. He's got to have good. it. Oh. oh, he does not have it at all. He does not have it at all. Two, four, five. They're saying, spare it up, let's go, let's go. However, the best that Dan can do I'm sorry, wrong. The best that Andre can do is a 192, a 9, if my math is correct, correct, and it usually is, yeah, 9 is 194. So a 9 tail from Dan, he wins. 
if it is not a nine count, then he's got some work to do, depending on what he does leave. Obviously, an open from him would be disastrous. Right. As long as that, op if the if the open is of the nine zero variety, he's okay. If the oh. oh well, never mind. We don't have to worry about that. Now it definitely doesn't matter what happens. Dan has pretty much to do with this game. Well, let's put it this way. Two out of the last three frames that Andre threw were open, and that pretty much got rid of any chance that he had of taking this first game. Challenger will take game one. Now, all of a sudden, we have the Andre Harrison big club showing up. Well, the key to this match is also is not falling apart late. Not falling apart late. Oh, I want to chat with this guy over here momentarily. Oh, another split. Well, but it doesn't matter now because it he opened. It didn't if, matter. If Andre marked and didn't mentally give up in the game, all of a sudden this becomes really interesting because, but it doesn't really matter. So. Okay. I thought that ball was a little aggressive. They go on the start. Let's go. I'll be back. Okay. Let's go. Obviously, Obviously they did. Obviously did. So I'm going to uh, hang out here. With, I'm going to make this guy wait for a second because I'm going to catch him momentarily. Late. No, he was not late. He's actually bullying in the squad, but he really wanted to do this matchup. So we're going to have some. He really wanted to do this matchup. Then they fixed it and we had to go back. Oh, no. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. He's mad. So we're going to have some commentary momentarily. By the way, I'm chatting with Michael Shaw, a.k.a. Pudu Okay, that's you. We just got 290, by the way. Can I say that loud? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Except your buddy Andre, uh, he got the second half of your nickname right because he shot this game like booty. At the end of game one, 192 to Dan. Your champion, 180. Daniel Son leads, one zip. All right, Mike. Yeah, usually if you're, let's put it this way, you're a cruiserweight, I know what your average is, and you're shooting around 30 or 40 points under a game, what, not good. Michael, Shaw, quick, quick, quick to seconds here. Give me uh, your thoughts on this match and uh, what your buddy Andre's got to do because I mean, he needed a GPS at the end of game one. Before I start my buddy Andre, that is my good friend too. He's a both of my points that I'm bowling, even though, even though Andre is my buddy, my buddy, uh, but he's, he's going to focus. Do you do you think do you think that first game was a little bit of nerves? I this mean, is a, it was. This is a big so thing. So what he was, he came up to me early and he mentioned a little bit that it's kind of like bright lights. And I told him, take your time and roll the ball. It's all you need to do. You can't do no more than that. Uh, be okay. and, and listen to us. We want to get loud for you. Okay. Let's right. fucking go. You know what Club of Mind Street thinks he said don't like bright lights? Mogwai. <laughs> bright lights, when they're shown to bright lights, it kills them. Like the gremlins. He does not want to die from the bright lights. He does not want to die from the yips. He does not want to keel over on that. We do. Bright lights make city. That's true. Also, can roll your bowling equipment if it's laid under there too much heat. Daniel likes the right lights right now. And a good ball change. That's it. Come on, you know what to do. That's why you got that. The same, the same thing. That's why you got that. Andre Harrison right now being, I don't know, right now, being, I don't know comforted, consoled, yelled at. The whole gamut of people talking to him. Got a lot of DC um, support. A lot of DC in the house. A lot of DC in the house. I haven't seen one. Nobody's teammate. come over for frame for murder. For no one for F or M has come over to him and chatted with him. Hey, Then again, he may not. Anybody come need. over and chat with them? Damn! 
you, you know, I'm feeling bad because everybody's coming over and chatting with Andre, and nobody's coming over and saying anything to you. So we're going to be your support crew right now. Rah, rah, rah. So what do you need to do in order to continue doing what you're doing, which is winning games? Because at the end of the day, that's what this is about. Stay focused. Take one shot at a time. Enjoy the fact that Andre's got a little mini four minutes for going on the next 13 and 14 behind him. Or you're not worried about a 248 right now either. No. no. Are you worried that he's going to make it? Okay, he'll make it. What do you think, Josh? You think he'll make it? I, I think he'll make it. See, I'm going to play the role of neutral first. But I will say that ball looks good. He didn't like it. And I say that because the last time he had a clumped up stay on the left hand side, he did not make it. And that allowed you to win. Yep. Those look really, really good right there. You know, we're talking about the movie Gremlins. And Gremlins, you know, some people call it a Christmas movie, some people don't. I consider it a Christmas movie. And he gave you a Christmas present at the end of game one. You like the segue? I, 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 love, segue. I love Thank you. So, now, are you going to return the, return the favor given present at the end of game two? No? No present for you? No presents. Oh, here's another present for you. Let the bucket down. That was the same. That was the same in the set that gave him problems at the end of game one. Oh, and that, now all of a sudden, the fan club is now showing up early. Fan club showing up early today. Showing up early in the game. Now let me ask you this question. So you have obviously body kids. Now would you consider? Would you consider them club poker players? <laughs> yes. So you have Club Cobra Kai over here. Cobra Kai over here. The anime. The, I would I was even start singing the Evil Empire. So number one, that's a different movie. And number two, we uh, get sued for uh, copyrights. All right, Daniel. Good luck, Daniel. Son. Meanwhile, Andre is having more conversation with the Queen of Ball Motion. <laughs> And the remnants of the Queen of Fire movie. By the way, Emma, have you seen the new version of the Karate Kid, by the way? I meant I to have. ask you. I have. Do you like it? I have. I, don't, I, I like it. I was, right. a, I was a big Karate Kid fan growing up. Um, the, the, the Cobra Kai TV show. It is what it is. It's not the original. Of course. It's, not, it's nothing will. It's not, it, it nothing will be better than the original, although I will say my favorite movie in the series was the second one. Yeah, the second one was great. The second one was amazing. Um, What's also amazing is Three Strikes by Dan. Three Strikes by Dan. So he's building up a lead. Right now, he potentially is up to 24 pins. Even with more to come, if another strike off his fair, it'll be at least 30 bearing on 40. I like the sport change. Like I said, I thought that... that uh, Ghost was a little aggressive for this house mm -hmm. in the beginning, but um, he went to a little more smooth the ball in the back, so it looks pretty good. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you a specific, specific question momentarily after this is shot. Daniel yeah, looking for four in a row. That ball's gotta hurry up. It does not. Three six ten. Now what I was gonna ask you is if you notice he is a lefty. Uh, how do you like his play in this house so far, as you and I are both fellow lefties? I, I think he's playing it very well. Mm -hmm. I think I still think that his ball is a little bit aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you keep it inside, you should be all right. That ball a little leaked out. Yeah, that, that ball leaked out. So that that's leak why he came roaring back. Yeah. As long as you keep it inside a little bit, he, he should be all right. He, he throws a very similar shot to me. No one likes balls that leak. Right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, I knew that was coming. We, 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 both, we both know where you need to put that ball to make that spare, and he didn't do it. That is the, that Daniel, is son, you waxed fear. off. That is my worst fear. I hate doing that. So I feel it. 
then general meeting Cobra Chop there in the fourth frame, which will allow Andre to not only make this very interesting, allow him to take the lead in the first strike here. I said right now, oh, that ball's high again. Yep, four frame. He did make a little move to the right. Okay, he's got to make, a, he's gotta make a bigger move to the right. So that one looks better than the last. One. It, 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 sort of, sort of. Sort of, sort of. Alright, I want to chat with the Queen of Ball Return over here. The, I'm sorry, the Queen of Ball Motion. The Queen of Ball Motion. She got, she got her fan. I do not. I do. Yeah, you're part of my fan club now. I'm part of your fan club now. Now, I don't, I do not know your name. And I just want to add, oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Sure. I, I know who you are, but I've never seen you in person. That is actually Porter. It is. What, what advice did you give? What, what advice did you give? Uh, I said, based on 14, I feel like there's a little bit more cold, so I feel like if you wanted to go back to the summer, you should go back to the Porter, the Queen of All Motion. Right now, his her protege, Andre Harrison, says, well, whatever he did, it's not working yeah. over Sunday, on lane 13. On lane 13, it's not coming up at all. Maybe you need to threaten him with something. A good threat usually works. Yeah, you know. Right. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, well, Ashley's going to go over and threaten Andre. For those of you that are just moved in, we are near the second half of game two. Right now, Andre is losing to Daniel Farrar. Challenger up one game to zip. And he sort of still has a lead here in game two. It's funny because... All right, I'll just play the At the beginning, Andre's had the better look, and now both bowlers seem to have lost it a little bit. Now it's just a question of who's got it. Hey! Who's gonna find it first? Who's gonna find it? Who's gonna find it? Uh, Andre's keeping it clean, so he's giving himself a chance. And like that, you gotta, you gotta end. You gotta end the game. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah, well, he did not end it very well in game, game it, one. Two of well. the last three frames allowed the challenger to escape in game one. Daniel right now, three strikes and over and looking to pick it back up here in the fifth frame. Does a strike or a spare here, he will maintain his lead and he will. That was a great shot. That was, that was a, a very shot. nice looking shot. Like I said, you got to keep it, keep it inside here. He will strike as a left hand. And Bolo Rama down and in his good. Bolo Rama down and in his good. Ask Brian Spencer. Ask. Uh, what's that? Robert Smith. Gordon Pepper. Gordon Pepper. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I was going to say, I have not held a belt in the series. I came very close. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> I came very close to doing that. Um, but I have ca cashed a paycheck here in no on only Alliance. So I got that. Got a couple of UBA paychecks. This is one of the events that I got the UBA paycheck from. I got my I got my UBA name from Bull Aha. Uh -huh. As you can see it, the UBA name is Cash and Checks. Cash and Checks. Which um, you've cashed many more than I have. So, so I'd like to say that I'm that I am not on the financial island. I got off the island. I used a couple of some bling bling from the UBA. I, I have to say I haven't cashed a check in a while, and I'm just you are you. So I got Ducky over here. Ducky's Ducky. paying attention. Ducky's taking notes. Ducky's looking at the setup. Ducky's looking to set some of his own stuff up. Looking for a belt. If we get it later on today, we'll find out. Uh oh. No, I belt. Hold on. I thought that that I thought that ball may have scored it out there like I did like it did in the fourth frame. It did not. It held on. It made it spare. Harrison right now does have a chance to cut this down to three pins with a, with a double. Here comes Ashley Porter. She's back. Let's see. 
Now, I'd like to point out that fan is not only good for cooling, it's also very effective as a blunt weapon if she decides that she wants to use it in that way. Ah, oh, that looked good. The move to a um, more aggressive piece. Um, more that, surface on that. It looked like there was a little more surface on that ball. So that was kind of the best shot that I've seen that from was, him in game two. Yes, sir. If he strikes here in the seventh frame, we're going to have ourselves a ball game. Again, right now, if Dan goes out the door at 245, if Andre goes out the door at 242, again, very close match. Very close match up, one, it was one pin at this point in game one. It is three pins at this point in game two. Big shot here. That ball looks good. If it moves, it will not. Two for you. Straight up, straight up. Straight up, straight up. Feel like. Feel like. Uh, feel like. Feel like. Andre's thinking too much on the 13. Sometimes you just relax. You know this as well as I do. Sometimes if people are going to go, ha ha, Gordon. Sometimes you just can't think. Just right. don't think, go up there and. Get up there and use your talent. Throw. Yeah. Get up there and use your talent. Rely on your talent. And. and Put it to the side. Andre looking to make the snare. Uh oh. Yeah. We, we've seen this happen before. I've seen this play. I did not necessarily like the ending. Two games in a row we have. Both the frame in the side. That is correct. And this is where he started to fall apart at the end of game one. This is the champion game. Yeah, this is not the same champion that I saw over at Bowler City last month. Because last month it was put on throw and he did not give a chance. And now it's almost happening in reverse today. Now will Daniel shut Andre out as we go into there? Ooh, seven pin. Another seven pin. I like the shot though. That I, was a I, nice I, ball. Look at that shot. It's gotta get a little slow on If he makes this, it can be up as much as 24 pins. Again, here in the open. And like I said in game one, Andre is running out of frames. Daniel's looking to make the spare. Here we go again. Both bowlers decided that neither of them wanted to do anything in the frame. 13 pin game. Dan yourself by 13 going to the eighth frame. Andre's got his thing called Where's My Hose. That that title may have to change too. Where's my end of game spare shooting ability? I say this out of love. I don't intentionally mean to annoy the foes he was going to anyway. But again, my thing's motivation. I'm here to motivate. Strike here by Daniel, eighth frame. That was a big strike by Daniel. Again, cannot get shut out. He's got the lead. Daniel may be hoping that what happened at the end of game one also happens here, which means his opponent really didn't need to, didn't give him much that he really needed to do at the end of game one. He's hoping for that same scenario at the end of game two. Andre obviously is not hoping for that. Andre wants to make Daniel, quoting Rihanna here, work, 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 work. But in order for him to do that, he needs to go strike, 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 strike. But we'll start with the first one here, a frame. That ball looks good, it is. Well, here's the question. And this could be the shot of the game right here in the ninth frame. If it's a strike, he's in business. If he's not, then again, mathematically, Daniel doesn't have to do much stringing in order to walk him out. He's gotta try something. This one's gotta be a strike and he knows it. 
And now let me explain the importance of that shot. If Andre did not throw a strike, the best he could have done is 190, and then all Dan had to do was to go Dutch for 193, he did not need to carry. Now all of a sudden, in order to shut Andre out, he's got to double somewhere along the way. And if he doesn't strike in the ninth, then he can't shut him out. So this is a big shot here. This is a big shot. Because if he doesn't, the best he can do is 203, and Andre can go off for 210. Shut him out, Dan needs this one. Oh my goodness, not only is he not gonna get it, three, ten, three, seven. Three, seven. Yipes. Actually, no, there's a nine behind there. Three, seven, nine. Three, seven, nine. And you know, he was telling me before he wasn't gonna be going any gift gifting at the end of this game too. Right now, he's playing Santa. He is playing Santa. Christmas, Christmas was over two months ago. No, Christmas they're is still, still here, giving, apparently. And they're still giving gifts. Yes. I'm the first. I'm the first. Game of the Cruiserweight match. My true love gave to me a chop bucket in a pear tree. I'm the second game of the Cruiserweight match. My true love gave to me a 7-2 in the ninth. And a chop bucket in the game one for me. Harris would need a spare and attempt to win. Uh, uh, well, assuming, no, he needs a little bit more than that. First things first. What he does or does not need is going to depend on what Danielson does over here. If he goes out the door for 191, first ball's got to be a strike. That's interesting, but he needs them all. But he needs them all. He needs them all. Got to put some pressure on him. We yeah. know what happened last game. If he doesn't throw a strike here, the game's over. That's a strike, that's a big shot. This many. All right, game is not over. Four for four. Who just grabbed it? The problem with that is that Dan the problem is that Daniel gave us that many on the eighth frame, but it came in the version of a 379. So so he did leave three, but not three strikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's good advice. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. The ball rep says. Barrett says things. don't do that. Do the things that strike all ten in one boat. All right, that first mark means that Andre does need a mark of some propriety in the tenth frame. Second shot here coming up. Oh. That's big. Now, here's the big part of this story. A strike means another strike means that Andre's first ball's got to be a strike in the tenth frame. Anything less than that, it depends on what that count is. If it is a nine, then nine's first strike is a tie, even though again first strike is a win. And then you if it is a rules, we have a nine, ten, roll. Yes, two frame roll off. Anything, anything less than that, and Andre just needs a mark. Obviously, he will need good count to go along with that mark since he's on a double. So if he throws a bad shot, even if he gets a spread, he can still be over. Obviously, if he strikes, and he doesn't throw a strike, the game's over anyway. But that will be dependent oh, on this. Yep. Uh, that Three in a row. Great shot. Dan did everything that he needed to do. Andre's got to throw the first strike. Uh, let's see where let's see. And Andre is not happy with that, and you can't blame him. Let's see if the bright lights are too much. And there goes Dan probably to get away from our commentary at this point. Dan has, Dan has some fans. He's got a shot here. Dan has well, some fans. Okay, he's got some fans. So Dan is chatting right now. This shot is for game two to type a match. Hey! Got it! Well, they're saying one more. He doesn't need one more. He needs two pins. 
So we're making the assumption that the gutter monster does not get incredibly hungry. Andre, we'll tie this one up. We'll be even one game apiece. And if the, if the gutter monster is hungry, he hasn't been near the gutter. No. That would gutter be, monster doesn't have any appetite right now. That would be some well, real uh, that, that would be bowl crazy. of God. Well, he's got to do it twice. And gutter monster must eat twice. I do not see the that bowling, happening even once. The, the bowling gods would hate him. Yes. Bright light should be real bright. Hey, that looks good to me. That's good. <laughs> he wants to watch the lanes. The fans want. The fans want Andre to watch the lanes out with his toes. Pause. 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 Saturday morning, and we're talking about washing the lanes off with the hose. Don't worry about it. I'm already. Don't just go back down at 240. Don't worry about it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Everybody wants to watch. You see nothing to watch. Nothing wrong with watching. He called the room already. That ball looks good. Not that it matters. Well, it's a 10. It doesn't really matter in this case. At the end of game two, Andre Harrison, 209. Daniel Ferrar, 191. We're tied, one game apiece. And here comes DC Mafia to get him back into this one. It's been a fun game, fun match so far. It's been a fun match, it's been a fun match. Back and forth, one point. We got to move, we got to move over. Move over, Gal. Daniel's going to throw the uh, first frame and expect the third, and then I'm going to call him over. All right, let, let's have it. Andre. So first game you look lost. You really look lost this game. At the end you found something. What'd you find? Found a way to throw the ball good. Okay, that's a good enough answer. Uh huh. Right. And, and having Ashley Porter scream at you and threatening to bludgeon you with a fan, that helps. It does, it's threatening him, it helps a lot. Nothing makes a good motivator like fear. Fear is a fantastic motivator. Always. All right, we're starting up game three over here. For those of you that just joined, where have you been? This has been fun. Oh, oh almost got away with that with four pins. So the champion is one game one. I'm sorry, wrong. The challenger is one game one. The champion is one game two. And we're tied one game to beat. Yeah, but well, bowling is match. fun. Bowling is always fun. It is always, it's always fun in bowling. It is very well. This is only match number one. It's only match we got three one. more today. More. And we got two tomorrow. And there's no way my okay. voice is going to hold on. I'm going to sound like this at the end of the day. I'm looking for it. To see it. I'm going to sound like Linda Blair being exorcist in possession. This, this lady's matchup. He makes a spare. Now I want to chat with Santa Claus. I mean Daniel over here. Daniel, you told me you were not giving any gifts at the end of game two. You had uh, ho, ho, ho. You sure <laughs> did. Talk to me about that. I mean, to be, to be fair, it, it, that shot did not look bad that you threw. It, to be fair, you did not deserve what you left over there, but you left it. No excuse coming from Nope. Well, it's tied now, 1-1, one, 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 so best of five. So not, not terrible. So what adjustments do you need to make? Because it looks like he's figured out his. What do you need to do to figure out yours? Uh-huh. 
so it's about your feet. I'll let you focus and wish the best of luck. Uh, is that four gonna fall? No. Four pin doesn't like anybody. Hanging out for Daniel, he's hanging out for there, and he did not play that shot like he did in 14, I'm not, did he? Yes, I'm not understanding why like 13 is getting into He just threw three great shots on 14 to end the game. Then he started the game with 14 with a good shot. And then he goes to 13, changes the balls, and leaves that. Is there a chance that, like, from an oil pattern, they're maybe playing a little bit differently? You think it's more mental than anything else? I, I think it's more mental because it looks like, it looks, I mean, from here, sitting here, they look like they're playing the same. And it's just, it's just getting, the mechanics are off on 13. It's so, it's definitely a mental, mental part. All right, so Dan is going over. over here. Frame two, game three. Is that shot coming up? That shot looks good. Ooh, shot look good. All right, happened. Dealing with a technical issue. The technical issue is now been resolved. So, are you? I had to deal with another technical yeah. issue. But we're okay now. We're all good. The, the technical issue having to do with your food supply. Right. <laughs> you have a good food and drink supply here. All right, so we, we see a strike, or we saw a strike go from Dan, over on lane 13, which is the one that you're seeing that Andre's got issues with, which he does. Andre does not have any issues on lane 14 so far. And now that I've just said that, we're gonna have to leave a free system. Gordon Pepper, Dark Cloud, blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. Throughout the years, Gordon's been known for many things, dark clouding people, right. mentioning stuff happens to be one of them I'll also. See any, I don't see any uh, front nines or front tens in here. There, there's a reason for it, because Gordon's ruin. right here. Gordon's sure already be, ruined them. I'm sure there'll be a couple later on today. Probably. Before the day's over, probably five or six. The heavy hitters coming at two o'clock. Actually, a pretty story. When now, now we had an eight. Uh, we had an 889 was not going to drop their stuff over the lane. So when God Foundation was here, and when we had the 889 series, I was threatened because he had he had 300 game one, 300 game two, front nine game three, and I was told 
that if I leave the area to go over there and do commentary live and watch it, right. that my life could possibly be forfeit and I may not get to the parking lot. Oh my gosh. That actually that... happened. I will not mention the name of the UVA staffer, but it was a UVA staffer. That day was election. That was amazing. By the way, Garden Foundation does have a set hey. right back here hey. for another battle ball. They're currently in first place in the Northwest New Jersey Division, just like Andre Harrison right now is in first place in the Cruiserweight Division. Harrison with the strike, finally doing something on lane 13. On lane 13. Finally now, done something. Finally does something. So now the question becomes, was that because he made the adjustment, or was that the lane finally said, okay, I'm going to quit? I think he was more relaxed on that, uh -huh. that shot. Maybe because he left something on 14. Now he's thinking about 14. Unless, yeah, yeah, remember, we, uh, we see that. All right, now, Daniel Son would be the opportunity to take any sort of lead in this game. Here's a shot by Ferrara. That ball looks good to me. Tempin says, no, it don't look good to me. That's two Tempins on like 14. It is. And we're not making fun of him. That is that his is actually that name is. on the jersey, Daniel Son. And as he said earlier in the match, frame for murder has patterned their whole, uh, shall we say, team traditions off the Karate Kid, which is why you see Daniel Sun. And he's a son of somebody named Daniel. <laughs> Stop coming up, that ball looks good, it is. It's fair for Daniel, and Daniel is up by two pins as we go into the fifth frame of game three. In the first two games, this is where it started to turn. And here's the Sashley Porter, who is about to slap Andre Plekka I notice she's a little bit happier now. She has not brought the fan as a deadly weapon this time. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay now. Okay. Okay. You got a milk dud? <laughs> Dan right now. Oh. So now it is Andre's chance to take a lead in game three if he should double. And we're learning more nicknames for Andre in this broadcast that I think Andre really wants us to know about, including Milk Dud. Milk Dud with my hose. He doesn't throw the ball like a duck. No, he does not want to throw the ball like a duck, I'll say that. Not now. It's important to stop coming up in the fifth frame. Daniel looking at me. Oh, no. Oh, he got it. Both of us still were not convinced that he was going to make that spare. I, 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 I certainly was not I convinced he was going to make that. And he's one of the few that does not use the spare ball. So. Use the speed. He uses his speed and his hand placement. Which is uh, pretty rare for a cruiser. So have have speed more set. Yep. Hand placement, ball motion, and uh, that's, I think that's the difference between a cruiserweight and a heavy Spare making and reading the transitions. Heavy heavyweights are, shall we say, more technically savvy. And we're looking for a double and not getting a two pin. This game is sort of looking like to be a little bit of a grinder match here. A little bit of a grinder game. The first two games were grind also. So this looks like we're going to be headed to uh, seven. Good. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, the first two games here, they're grinder. But it was sort of like strike open, strike open. This is more spare, 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 spare. spare. <laughs> Once in a while we get a strike, but spare, 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 spare. Oh, good 
not have an easy catch. Two fingers down. Yeah. 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 One pin game again. Again. Going into the sixth pin. Yes. All three games so far have been close to the halfway mark. And then the winner has been determined by who makes the least number of mistakes. That really, it hasn't been who can strike out, it's right. been who it's doesn't make that. the big who mistake. Does, who doesn't make the big mistake. And or who, or who, does lane, not, who does not turn into Papa Noel. Back on lane 13, we're on to. Let's see if the adjustment that he made last time. It was, and, and Ashley's cursing and cursing everybody up behind us. Oh, there we go. We haven't heard Ashley in a while. There's our Ashley quarter quarter for the frame. We have now got the Ashley quarter segment of the fifth frame, sponsored by Ashley quarter fans. Use it or be clunked with it. All right, he'll make the spare, which is good, because if you missed that, I think he may have been eating that pen. Yeah. Right. right now, up by two as we go into his half and six frame. Up by two, and I think we're gonna have another ball change. Dang, that was orangey orange. Orangey orange. Well, you see? Guy, so that's, uh, All right, so what, what is that? Because that that's is a it. remote, okay. um, limited, very limited ball. Not, they didn't make that many, and it's already, it's just a limited release. Hopefully he will not be limited in use. Because you see all these grab balls, and then, ooh, look, orangey yeah, orange. orange. And that looks, no. I see another ball change coming up, and, and we may no longer be seeing the orange ball on lane 14. Three pins. That, that ball is a little bit longer. The shot that he was playing. Well, if that shot is, it goes longer, then he's got to put either more speed or he's got to move it over because that ball clearly did not work. Yeah, it did not, it did not come up at all. And he's using the orangey orange to spare. It will work. You just shook your head at that, him using the orangey orange uh, limited ball as a spare ball. Now, will he use that ball again, or will he pull out something different? I think he'll probably use it again just to see what happens on the 13, and he will. Right now is half of the sixth frame. He is still theoretically up by one pin, and because of the strike, he'll still be up theoretically by one pin. Hey! And that ball did run up on him a little bit. So, looks good up there. It looks good. I think the lanes are playing different. You might be right, Gordon. Lane 13 wasn't in his head. Lane 13 is playing different. It is. Now I'm here with Michael Shaw again. He's watching his buddy, Andre Harrison. Yeah. Mafia is he making? Yeah. 1-1. 1-1. One, one. One, one. One. Your man got came too. Your man got came too. Well, your man right now is down one pin. A strike here will keep him only down by one with a chance to take the lead in the eighth frame. Feel the energy? Feel the flow? Feel the vibe. We have a five pin. 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 Now, now I wonder how Ashley is going to... Ashley, Ashley, let me ask you something. Now, we know we have this powdering thing if you miss a five pin. Yes. What are you going to do to this poor carcass if he misses a five pin? So many things more than just the powdering. So many things more. 
Right now, so far, the, the answer's been... Have not. They, they, nobody wanted it. No. Neither Bowler wanted it. No. Neither Bowler wanted it. So, so far, we've had the first two games, five opens. Five in opens. Combined. In the 12 frames that we've had. Harrison up right now, trying not to make that six, but that ball's really high, and there's open number six. Here we go. Again. Here we go again. I'm my eight, eighth, eighth frame, going down the only road I've ever known. Hey, like please, after yeah, those please. balls, those balls may be uh, big. Stay here and riding alone. Please save me from Gordon singing. I can say Dang when I look that I want to. <laughs> now is not the time that I want to. Right. Oh, all right. See if Daniel can capitalize. We'll see if Daniel can capitalize. My money is not necessarily on him capitalizing. I don't, really have any, I don't really have any confidence in him capitalizing. It's just, I don't even know. It's just, it's just the way it's been going today. So. I don't want it. You take it. No, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. No. Somebody, somebody take it. I will be joined, and I can't now wait to introduce what we're going to be for Kelsey Hampton one more. Well, Daniel do something. Oh, yes, he will. That was a great shot. So, Kelsey, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I am doing fantastic. So, I'm watching this interesting cruiserweight matchup uh, that we have, which right now is tied one game apiece. And it's been marked with who does or does not want to finish games. Daniel has a chance to actually grab this game. It always is. So are you bowling in the next one? Excellent. I shall be glad to see you there. I mean, I'm bowling whatever you choose to do as long as you can't help out there what you do. That's right. You and I are going to be chatting about that. Because I'm going to be commentating that match at three in a row at the most opportune time. So that is late on today, right? 536. Yeah, 536. Yep, that's the match I'm doing. Yay! Yeah. It's going to be fun. That's going to be awesome. Absolutely. So I wish you the best of luck in that. I know that we're going to be chatting more about that. Daniel has decided he does not want to play Santa Claus this game. No, he, he, he put on the big red cap and the pushy beard and stuff like that. It's a like transitional game. We could have another button up there. Well, not the most effective way that I've ever seen getting a strike, but all the pins went down. We're in Delaware. Can we call it Jersey? Yeah, that's true. He threw a jersey. We're in Delaware. <laughs> Not Brooklyn. Not a Brooklyn. So here's the situation. Tenth frame, obviously, for me to saying he's got to get them all is a no doubter. He's got to get them all. If he gets them all, will he actually be still? If he gets them all, it still may not matter because right now 177 needs a nine and no, an eight count. In the first ball, Dan wins. If he decides that he wants to be as generous as Andre has been this game, then we may have some. But Andre's got to get him. First shot here, it's got to have it. He does. He does. Now he throws the shot. That was mercy. probably the best shot. It, it, it is, which leads to the question of where the heck has that been? Second shot coming up, again, it's got to have it. 
If I asked him if he wanted that eight frame back, he would say yes. Absolutely. Yeah, any any shot that he had of taking any uh, taking this game vanished in that eight frame. Unless uh, our buddy Daniel Sam wants to go golfing or visit the Church of the Episcopalian Society. Well, hey, we never know. Because that is true. That's how it's been going that is true. Week, so. That is true. We, gotta, we have to. Back yes. Because it's been, and watch it's the been, magic it's happen. Been an adventure or the travesty happen. Yes, it has. Out. It is 1 1. Hold it, Tom. Yep. <laughs> These guys definitely take their time and, 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 and try to focus in. And well, they, they finally throw strikes. They started throwing strikes this game. We have 190 and 192. All right, so here, here's, the, here, here's the setup. If Dan. Dan needs an eight. If he gets it, actually no, it needs a tie. Dan needs a nine. Nine, he wins. Anything less than that, and then we'll see what happens. This is for game three. There's his nine. Nine, he gave us nine. It's going very well right now. So that, by the way, puts him at 204, so that's a win. That is a win. Nope. He's got to regard this. Because Gordon can do math. Gordon can do math. Right now he's at 204. Bracketologist. However, well, he, he could make the spare, and he does. For Dan, Andre Harrison, 201. The challenger's up to one. <coughs> Still have Ducky over here. I got a Ducky to my right. I got a Rudy on the left. Ducky, what is your match? And who are you both? I've got a Reaper over there. Devin? For, for the championship, for by the way. For the championship. He's a mini champ. Yeah. <laughs> got a mini champ. He's half the man that Ducky is. I'm two yeah. Literally. I'm two yeah. He got what Ducky does. That's true. <laughs> so we're gonna go into game four right now. I got, I got some heckling. I got some heckling back here. I got some yeah, heckler. I, I got a heckler back here. Please, 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 back guy. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I bowl in the toughest house in Brooklyn. You mean ever since I re-rated him 60 pins? <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> he did. No, I know. Anyway, we're starting game four here in the Northeast Cruiser Championship match. The challenger, Dan Farrar, is up two to one over the champion. And champion's got a spare, and we're starting off game four. This is Gordon Pepper. I am here with the person everybody's making fun of, but yet he's got a whole bunch of belts, so he doesn't have to justify anything to anybody, Josh Valdez. Not at all. Like, I haven't had a belt in a while. A 
I'm working my way up to the heavyweight list, though. It's definitely tough. It's definitely tougher than I expected it to be. How many people give it credit for it? You've got some very good bowlers here. There are some very good bowlers on the heavyweight list that are not known. That is true. And that's part of the other issue. People don't know them. But don't we know? Yeah. Gotta come from somewhere. Once upon a time, people had no idea who Ducky was. Ducky. Maybe Ducky. Ducky. And now we got uh, Ducklet. Dan Ferry. Those are the only two people that I've known on the list. Keith Perry. Keith Perry, former champion. I didn't know who he was. He but now you do. To, he came into my house and smoked me. Like a salmon. <laughs> so. Got a lot of really good quality bowlers out there. And right now we have mini champ. Daniel Sun's looking for a double. Wax on, wax off. A pair of waxing for Daniel. Is Segura bowling today? She is. I've told Segura she could go over, she should go over and challenge the heavyweight title. I've told her that. And you better believe I'm going to ask her that again tonight as she's defends. Even though I believe her match is not tonight, though it is tomorrow. But I'm going to ask her anyway. If I see her tonight, she will get that question from me. That, that may be the best match of the weekend. She's defending against Hermie Hannibal. Mm, the last time they bowled. Seven. What? Classic. What a match that was. I believe that was a 278 to 279. That's exactly what it was. Segura uh, shot eight and changed the first three. I was there for that. That was amazing. I am honored to be there again. Hall of Fame. Hall of Famer versus up and coming star. Definitely, definitely, I, that's the match I was looking forward to this whole weekend. I thought it was going to be today. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Andre Hassan right now. Hey. This match a classic. And it's looking to be a classic, but not exactly in the way that he wants it. An early open, and he's in a very big hole early. Danielson quickly up by over 20 pins, and we're only in the third frame. Ashley is lovingly cradling that fan. <laughs> that fan like a barbarian is lovingly cradling an axe before deciding where to implement it. And we have strike. Right. First strike from Andre has in this game. Andre's got some work to do. Definitely has some work to do. Champion, let's see what you made up, champ. Uh, I sure you did. Ashley's trying to light a fire on the Andre. But they keep, have been able to But he to keeps light putting it out. out. Yeah. He's extinguishing he's, he's the fire with mean, his own hope. That, that is his job. Self-flagellation. Yes. Meanwhile, he's looking three in a row here for Daniel, not getting it. Seven minutes. Seven. He left that one a little bit in. That's why you didn't get the carry. He's throwing the ball a lot better now than he was at the beginning of game two. He is going a lot better. So, uh... Gotta make it fair though. It's very important to make it fair. He's up by 22 pence. You do not want to give it up away. Right now you've got all the momentum in the world. Andre Harrison, spare open. Yeah, he got a strike, but he's still very much fishing. The one thing you absolutely do not want to do is put Andre Harrison, who by the way is your cruiserweight champion. You don't want to give him any form of life. You don't want to give him any thought of getting back into this game. Uh, spare for Farrar as we go to fourth frame. Now he's got his cute little bright orange tangerine ball, which again is going to call what limited? Revolt limited. Revolt limited. Motor revolt.
got they got bottles of water in there. Something. It's getting late early without Christ. All right, now he's picking out 13. Now he's going to go back and figure out what he was doing correctly on lane 14. Right. Andre right now. Back in the pit. We got the door 237. Dan's only made one mistake, so we can go off for 279. And another couple of strikes here, and Andre could be in a world of hurt in the game four. It's not fun. It's not, and it's not fun at all. That ball looks good too. And oh! I was about to say it is, no, it ain't a pin. Figured out lane 13. Now they gotta say, okay, what do I gotta do on lane 14? What are we doing for lane 14? And no offense to Dan, but Andre needs to figure it out quicker than Dan does. For Andre to get back into this one. Somewhere. He needs to start doing something. He needs to start 
trouble for Andre as you're going into the eighth frame. Daniel up by around 28-10. Strike over here will be three in a row, and more importantly, he cannot get shut out going into the ninth and tenth for him. That ball is straight again. Hey! Oh, the center goes down. That's the carry on the show. There it is. Three in a row three for Ferrar. Ferrar is looking very focused right now. Now he's looking very focused. That, that now again, just like last game, Andre is running out of frames. He's going to start doing strikes. And all of a sudden, the Andre Harrison Health Committee, who is here for game two and game three, is nowhere to be seen near the end of game four at the point that Andre probably really needs him the most at this point. Oh, that ball's got to hurry. And it does it. I don't understand. Where, where, where is he thinking? He just threw a great shot on 14 last time he was there. Andre can do is a 207. Right now, Dan has a 169. As of right now, is out throwing a bowling ball, which also means, from a math perspective, a couple of nines will do it. He does not need a mark. He just needs to throw some good count. If Andre is mathematically alive in this game, that means disaster has happened for Dan. This has been a We haven't had a big game yet. And he didn't like that one, and I didn't like it either. Another, another. He didn't like it, but it's a nice habit to me. 
Vince right now, he is at, without anything going on, he's at 196. Again, best he can do is 207. So a mark here, and a mark, or a mark in the top, and we're good. If he goes open, open, then Andre's got a shot at this. capable of. I've seen him last month at Polar City. However, what he did at Polar City, he needs to bring with him the next three games. Let's see what he Because if he doesn't, we've got a new champion. Let's see what he did. Let's see what he did. I love how focused these two guys are. They and at the beginning, they're yapping back and forth. You know, it's their first two games. Now, now when you get to game four, that's where it's business. It, 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 it's all business for these two. They stay focused on every shot. They don't throw anything. Um, they're not too confident or overconfident. So these guys, I, I like their mind, their mindset um, in these matches. In these big matches, you gotta have a, a, a calm demeanor. You gotta be able to relax. That first, those first two games, you can see that both of them were in the back. Now they seem to be in. Ooh. Well, do that now. Good spot for that. Yeah, I was going to say, if he did that in the ninth or the tenth all of a sudden, that, that could have been interesting. But it is not. Daniel Farrar is one game away from being the new Northeast Cruiserweight Champion. Still got one more to go. Andre should use this frame to gauge where his shot's gonna be. We're talking about changing ball court, but now would be the time to do it. Getting yeah, 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 yeah. to go up for 2-0. Oh. Oh, seven. Alright. Yes, he can do this to a seven. You know, he's given that look of, okay, fine, I finally threw a strike here in 14. If you notice, two, four, six, eight, he didn't throw strikes. What did he throw him? On lane 13. He did not win this game because, again, Dan and figured out why to put it on lane 14 first, and he tugged it. Hey, he went Jersey. He's wearing Delaware in Jersey. Back oh, over the bridge. Well, maybe he needs to because Washington was closing to, De was crossing to Delaware, and right now he's currently sinking in it. <laughs> Andre's boat has sprung a little Andre's, bit of a leak. Andre's boat is leaking. And it's leaking, it's taking on water. Got a leaky hose. So hose is not at full capacity. Open his hose up. End of game four, Dan Farrar 237, Andre Harrison, I'm sorry, Dan Farrar 234, Andre Harrison 207. Dan is up three to one, and he is one game away from winning the Northeast Cruiserweight Championship. There are three games left. Andre needs to win all three of them. The margin of error is zero, AKA El Chipo. We're going to. If we 
if we get this tied up, even if even if he gets the next game, pressure's gonna start to mount. If I'm dead, I need to get rid of him now. Correct, correct. correct. He's dead, on he's... the ropes. I've oh, got him where I want him. I figured out I, I figured out where to put the ball in both. Andre has not figured out how to put the ball in lane 14. Because that last two shots, he's definitely not gonna do that the whole entire game. So I've gotta jump on him now if I am there. That is not a good way to have a start on start. No. Andre Harris and Meemaw in the back story. Thanks, Dan. I love you. It's probably not a love you. Thanks, Dan, you're cool. I mean, it's a split, but this is a make Makeable, but the important thing is this, even if he makes this, it's not a strike. And it's not a strike on a lane that he's been lined down on. So now all of a sudden you could be overthinking everything. Do I have to adjust? Is it a bad shot? Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? You are correct, that's makeable, but that's not the point. The point is that he left it to begin with. And he... Harrison absolutely could. Hey! hey well, oh! oh! Yeah, actually, I thought he was going to make that one. Santa! <laughs> Come on, Santa! Santa Dan, once again, giving up gifts. Is that what they, what, is that what they teach you over in uh, Karate Kid? You know, to be good and generous and give out gifts to other people that you feel that are deemed that are worthy? <laughs> is that what they teach you over there? Yeah, but uh, I, I missed part of that lesson. That's what that was. I missed part of that lesson. Oh! We got, a, we got an ugly one. Start. Yeah, and, and that is exactly why you do not want to open up in the first frame. Because now all of a sudden, thanks to the ugly strike, Harrison's got a lead, and we all know that he's lined on lane 13. If he continues to be lined up on lane 13, he's going to take a quick lead. <coughs> Champ is up on lane 13. Here's a shot. And that ball looks a little high, poor pin. And of all the disasters that have been left on lane 13, he should probably be pretty right. happy he's that he only be. left that. Fortune, he's fortunate to be that. 13 has both of um, a little struggle right now. 13 has been tough all series here. Game one, game two, game three hasn't really been carried. It's been grind, 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 grind spares, grind, grind, grind. Don't make a mistake at the end of the game. You'll make that? Yep. Harrison still has a quick lead, however, it's not an insurmountable one. Notice how uh, Dan was up. All ready to go. Yep. So he, he's now confident in terms of what he needs to do. I'm sure in his mind he's thinking, all right, I just do a bad shot. I'll wait 13, I don't get need anything to change. Yeah, exactly. Is that coming up? Uh-oh, uh I, I don't like that body language. It's about body language. That one held up. It did, that it did, but she was, he was not happy with that shot. Like I goes. said, that was a, a Bolarama lefty special right there. Yes. Yay, lefty. As long as you, as Yay, lefty. Long as you keep it in, Got a shot. Down and in, got a shot. Yeah, no, let's see if he makes that adjustment. Yes, hey. he does. That's a big double for Dan Farrar. And here he comes, and now, if you're Dan, are you starting to count? I know it's real early, but are you starting to do a little miniature countdown in your mind going, I got eight trades left. If I fill them, I am the new champion. Yes, sir. I was going to say, still a little early. Number one, you got to do your part. Number two, you're hoping Andre does not do his. 
He is. Andre has been lane 14 for Andre has been. Lane 14 for Andre has been has been one has been great for him these last two games. Problem is lane 13. Lane 13, which is where he is now in the fourth ring. In game five, lane and the game's got to win. Lane 13 has been in his hand. All series. Living rest break. Shot here and that take looks the good. lead. Oh, that looked good high. until it crept up near the end and it I checked in there. He threw that little soft. That was a little soft. So Speed it up, right? Speed it up. That, that one was definitely a little soft. So. Ashley right now is in the leaving nine pin. Let's pick it up. Andre still has, Andre still has not go. figured out lane 13. He's, and he's ready to go. He, he's ready to go. He's up there. He's, he's the first three, for the first three games, he's taking his time out here, waiting it out. Now he's up there. He take a time out to shout out the cameraman for giving us all these new angles. Sir, he's, yeah. he's, he's definitely on the, on the job. Looking three in a row right now for Dan. He gets it. And all, all of a sudden now, Dan is ca cameraman. What cameraman is picking up now is Dan's got a lead. <laughs> Dan's got a lead now. Let's see here, math wise, it could be 19 pins with another. Definitely 19. It could be more than close to 30 with another strike here in the fifth frame. I mean, I don't like the brand that he's throwing, but um, personally, that's just me. Rudy's not, Rudy's not motivated, yeah. You gotta get motivated, you know. I, I, I definitely brought that ball in my, my that ball is definitely in my arsenal. So, you might see it today. He's motivated four in a row, he is. He's four in a row for Ferrar. He is feeling good. And Andre needs to figure out lane 13 quickly. He has not figured it out for the past seven times he's thrown it there. If it turns into eight, he's gonna be in real trouble. It is starting to get late early for Mr. Harrison. Spares, spares are not good enough. Spares were good enough the first couple of games. And here's the biggest problem that Harrison has had. Spares have been good the first couple of games. He has given two games away. With, which now I'm sure he wishes that he held, that he wanted back. Lane 13, 14, no problem. 13. Problem. He needs to, be, he needs to figure it out. Quickly. And he needs, very quickly. Quickly. He can't let this game get away from him. He cannot let any more games get away from him. Because yeah. if he lets this game get away from him, there's no game set. There's no margin at all. Yep. And he has same ball in his hand on lane 14. He has not switched. He hasn't thrown this ball on lane 13 yet. Is that first time? First time. Well, it's first time the right and time. Go. Yes, it is. Big shot for Harrison. Big double. Big double. Harrison absolutely needed that shot and he got it. Now we get, now we got a little bit of a ball game here. Now pressure on Dan. I mean, right now we're talking about the cruiser weights. They go out the door right now, 279, 260. Now we're having some fun here. Bar's looking for five in a row. No, seven. seven. Harrison needed a break, he got one. There's a seven pin. Spare keeps him up by two. A, an open not only does not keep him up, I mean, theoretically, if Harrison goes out the door, it's a 260. The best that he can do, actually, no, he can still go to 268. Actually, no, he can't. 
258. So Harrison is taking control of this game. Obviously, there's still lots of game left to go. And also keeping in mind that Harrison's got to finish on lane 13. Seven frame here. Now, Dan's got a little bit of a wiggle here. He's up three to one. He can lose this game if he wants to. Obviously, he's not going to want to, but he can. He doesn't want to. And, the, and then the other question becomes, and then the other question, you're absolutely right, and then the other question becomes, does the momentum that Andre Harrison just got from throwing that strike on lane 13 carry over? And if so, how much? And something like that, that can carry over for more than one game. You and I have both seen that happen. You don't want to get bored. Man, you don't. Fun. Yeah, no. I Bucket mean, that chicken. Yeah, that, I was about to say, and I'll let you say it. Usually, after a string, that next shot th shows where you are, not necessarily physically, but mentally. 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 He's got to make this fair. I'll tell you the right. I'll tell you this right now. If he misses a spare, this, it is game over. Andre will win. We will see you in game six. I will say that right now. Uh, I agree. And all the momentum. Yes, all Andre. the momentum will be in Andre's corner. And, and that very quiet Andre Harrison group is going to start getting loud in a hurry. Correct. It's like the last thing that Dan wants at this point. And... That's game. Here we That's go. game. I'll tell you right now, that's game. I don't really care what, what happens now, that's game. That, that is it. Now, I'm sure people that are listening are going, Boy, what are you talking about in the seventh grade? I've seen this more than enough times. Jose's they seen this more than enough times. The Royal Rumble was last weekend, <laughs> but we see how everything is scripted and choreographed. Correct, correct. You don't no need to be a wrestling mind. fan to know no how this is going to be choreographed. Mind. Because I will guarantee you, he will throw the night. Yes, you and I both. Oh, and the four pins in now. Screw both of you. Screw <laughs> <laughs> both of you. You think you know how bowling goes. Now. There is another storyline, which is one of the things that Andre Harrison loves to do today is to be giving, giving games away. Correct. If he makes this, as much as we've been saying it's the end of the world, it is only a six-pin game. So going to the eighth frame. Firefighter. He's up by six pins going to the eighth frame. If Firefighter wins this, we get to fight another fire in game six. If he does not, despite the fact that he left a bucket of soup in the seventh frame, Dan Farr will be your new Northeast Cooper champion. Big shot here in the eighth. Big shot here in the eighth. And there's a strike. And again, the question is, where's that been for a game and a half? My, Michael Shaw, you know, Michael Shaw, Ashley Porter, they're all back there. They're going to get loud. You know, they're already loud. They're going to get louder. we got more people hanging out. We'll see Mafia hanging out. is starting to form. DC Mafia is starting to freak over here. That's why we have said it is necessary for Dan to end this now. And right now, that ball's coming in. That ball is seven. So, I really can't get like too loud against Danny because I'm, I'm like, I'm really cool with Danny. But, but even though it's but, going against my team, but, like anybody else, if but, that wasn't Danny to let it hit for that little bit, I would have been like, you can't win like that. But I can't do that to Danny, man. We're cool people, man. But, <laughs> right now he's trailing, and I'll say what you're going to say. He can't win like that. There you go. Help me out. Please help me out. I can't, I can't so the, the Michael Shaw translation is, is if Andre goes out the door, he wins, we see game six. 
both Josh and I thought the second that he Man. missed that, oh, well, Man, now the game's over. Everyone's been over before. Definitely now we're just... not going to beat my fucking teammate missing those. Fuck that. I'm going to say that. I'm definitely <laughs> going to say that. I won't be quiet on that one. And the turning point of this game and maybe the match was a strike in the sixth frame on May 13 from Andre. And then Dan responding by a spare and two opens, which effectively will take him out of game five. This, this, if, if Andre manages Andre to win this, manages to win this is where he won it. This is where he won it. This, this will be the... This is where he's going to look back at in another step of game. This is where he's going to look back at. This, this frame, this game, that frame right there on 13 is huge. And again, what, what's, what's been the motif? This game, people not finishing out. Pair of opens. That is open number seven and number eight, by the way. In, in the last three frames. Yeah. Actually, no, there's more than that. I didn't even count game four. Right. There's a lot. There's a lot. I'll go, when this game is over, I may go over there and do some quick stats and be like, all right. He makes that one. However, and a big however here, he has locked the barn door after the horses have eaten the children. And Mr. Harrison is looking for seconds. The best that Daniel can do, 202. Two marks, give him a 209. Ninth frame here. Uh, and he left, left a nine pin. That's an easy spare to make. Michael Shaw is screaming at me behind there. Michael, what, what happens if he misses this? Because I know okay, that there's... He's not going to miss it. Let me say that first. Okay. But if there is... Does. Ashley Porter's got a, got a fan. Is that going to be useful to whoever? Okay, so I'm going to say he's not going to miss it, but you but. can't miss a spare like that against Danny. Don't forget Danny's opportunity. Danny is a good folder. And if, if you keep the door open for Danny, Danny will take that fan and walk smack through that door. Thank you! Let's go! So, here we go, 10th frame. If any sort of mark from Andre Harrison, and he does indeed finish his food, and we go to game six. If he opens and Danny strikes out, we have a new Northeast Cruiserweight champion. There we go. This is to finish game five and go to game six. Hey. Barry. Wow. Let's go. Danny a had a chance to end this in five, and he did not do it. Now your palms get a little sweaty. Your palms get a little sweaty. You are thinking about three to one. Now it's now three to two. two. These first couple frames are going to be huge. Today. He still has a lead. Three he does. Two. But you want to you wanna close this out. You want to close this out here. That's all I need. That's good. Right now, if he makes this, it's a 209. That is more than good enough to beat Danny Farrar this game. Now you 
have a louder Andre Harrison group. And the other thing to keep in mind is this, and I'll let you talk, the other thing to keep in mind is this. People are starting to finish their Unholy Alliance games, which means now they're going to start coming over here. So any sort of buffer that Danny had or respite in terms of his, in terms of Andre's hand club is still going to be gone. Michael, what game are you guys in? I am in my fifth game. Y'all see my man Drake Mustang? He got cut Mustang. That shit gotta go, man. I'm telling so you're in the last game, yes. which means once you're done, you're swinging right I back will over be down here, here which means it's going to be a lot louder over here. It's going to be fucking louder when I get back. Three, two now. It will be. One of the reasons why, if you're Danny, this was a game to get to just back to Harrison. This is a game that you needed to win to so keep the, the crowd away. Well, there would have, wouldn't have been any crowd. The crowd would have been right, gone. Right, right. There would have been, been no, no crowd. No more crowd. The momentum is, the momentum is shifting right now. Shout out to the game. Yay, we got here. We got Bullhorn, we got music. You have Boobas Wells? Huh? You have Kazoo? No Boobas Wells? How do you not bring a Boobas Wells? I didn't eat Boobas Wells. Bring a Ram's horn or something. No, not, that's a Bullhorn. That's not a Ram's horn. So he's gonna finish with an open and one nine. Did that is that the last chance, the last best chance that he had to win the title? We'll find out. At the end of game five, two oh nine, Andre Harrison, Denny Ferrar, one ninety. Danny is still one game away from winning the title. However, it is now three to two. Three to two. And this is where game six always pivotal. Palms pivot. start getting a little sweaty. That's pretty fun. Palms Ooh, start getting sweaty. a little sweaty. That pressure starts right now up three to two. We still, we still have a little bit of room. But margin of error is starting margin to error, get the the Margin of error starts to shrink. Oh, wait, hold on. These first three frames. Got to gotta get some games back in. Hold on, I'm going to deep plug myself here.
All right, how's the audio, by the way? Audio's good? All right, we're checking on the audio, testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, so now I'm realizing that, hey, there's comments that are here. Future South Cruiserweight champion, Leonard Freeman. You, Leonard Freeman, you were, you going backwards, Leonard. You was a heavyweight champion at one point. Now you approve it, you should be you shouldn't be showing that off. Mike's a horrible. I think it's just kind of noisy in here. 
It could be because it's noisy, or they're not really talking about the mics. They're saying, you're horrible. <laughs> Okay, now he's taking off. Echo, oh, the echo. Oh, is audio's bad for guests, not going on. <laughs> I, I don't know if I should say that is a good thing or if it's a bad, I don't know. Anyway, when y'all have guests, disconnect your, your pack and you can use it as a mic. Oh, so that you can go back and forth. Oh, yeah. I couldn't drop it to tell y'all. When well, you have a guest, just unplug it, and then you can like, yeah, as, so as you can put it. Yeah, we're using new streaming stuff. We're using new audio. So this is sort of like a guinea pig test for us today. So we, no, no, we really appreciate your feedback because that we're the only people that know. So give you, you want to take mic? Want to take mic? I don't know. You want to take mic? Anyway, I'm Gordon. That's Jose. Josh. 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 Not Jose. <laughs> you do have a Jose, yeah. but that's not you. Josh has got a brother named Jose. You have a whole slew of brothers. Yes. Talk to us about your family. And they all bull, by they the way. They all bull, yes. My, my right, so you got a brother. Josh. You got a Jose. I'm Josh. I'm Josh. Yes. We have Jose, my little brother. Yes. And then we have my twin brother, Jeremy. We, uh, we, we try to stay in the same chair. Mm -hmm. We try to keep this together. Uh, in the club. So they're saying the audio guest mic. The guest mic. So well, no, that, what that means is that you just got to turn you off the mic. Uh, why am I, well, how am I, oh, hi, how you doing? Uh, UBA, what day? First and foremost, so uh, who won? Still there. Game six. Game six. Really? We're waiting for uh, the house to get this together. DC Mafia has actually made the chance. Yes. And you know, just a little FYI, if you're looking to get some sponsorship uh, to, you know, see your company get seen in actual views, uh, you may want to look into email the UBA, or going on to either our website or email one of us uh, for sponsorship. Actually, uh, WCS is a very uh, formidable view, and uh, yeah, we get a lot of attention here. Yeah, right now Nexus is saying the video is not on. Well, no, right now it's not on because right now there's, we are waiting for the front desk to do what they need to do. Once it is done, we're going to put the uh, video back on. It's cash and checks, but I'm, I'm looking for a new name. I'm about to put a poll up. I'm looking for a new name. So, somebody come up with a good name. The only thing lost is wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I got video. So, I'm so no, for, for people that are saying that there's issues in the video and audio, no, that's it's something that we're currently testing out and punching around with while we're on break. So now we're no longer on break. Now we're going to bring you back to your schedule regularly scheduled program or regularly scheduled match and your regularly scheduled ten, seven pin for Mr. Farr. These first few frames are going to be the key for Daniel. He's going to feel, if he doesn't strike, he's going to start feeling the pressure. Right now, start I think he's starting to feel it now. I think he's already starting to feel it, but he's going to feel it now. And that was, that, was a, that was a pretty significant break that we took. So he had a chance to think about that and think about closing this game out. Well, both bowls have a chance to consider it now, so you have Daniel right now making the seven pick off of Andre Strike going the second frame. Again, this is a game Andre Harrison must win for those of you that are just joining us. It is three to two in favor of the challenger, Daniel Farrar. Andre's got to win this one, he's got to win the next one. If he doesn't, new champion. And, and Leonard Freeman wants you to pay him because apparently you're charging rent in his head. Or he's charging you rent. <laughs> Leonard Freeman is with the, with the most... Yeah, right now. Yeah, it's looking good. There it is. Oh, we Late got 13 a scream. Is a strike. Oh, we, we got, got a scream. scream from, 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 uh, 
Daniel Perot. Daniel Perot, that's a thing. They're all some fans here. They, they should be more fans than him because he throws the ball very well. Frank gives him the lead. And again, got him strike. Four pin. So meanwhile, while Daniel is chatting, four pin lead over here by Andre. And again, you're let's just say you're Andre Harrison. You've been in this position, you've got to win this game. How much adjusting are you making because you know you've got to win this one? Right. I wouldn't make too, too drastic of a too, too drastic A little at a time. I've been in this spot. I was down 3 one against Mike McFadden. Um, I was down 3 one And I saw him look into the camera and give a, a, a three sound. Uh -huh. And that, that's all I needed. Yeah, the last thing you want to do, and I've been there too, where people started talking smack and I was down, and I just went, you just, that clicks the switch, and I'm like, you just did the wrong thing, buddy. You have to find some kind of motivation. Oh, I'm sorry, Leonard Freeman said, your new name is Continue to Pay Me. So that was not meant as an insult, that was meant as a suggestion for your new jersey name. Okay, I like that too. Continue to pay me. And Andre likes that. And he's found 13 again. Yeah, no, well, now he's got to go back and find 14. So, take it. Oh, he's scared. You just got to keep going back and forth. I'm taking suggestions for my new name. All my children. Continue to pay me. I have one. And then I have another suggestion from Bob Gagne. He said, the only thing I lose is weight. I like, to, I like that one too. And I'm not going to even say what's what come up with New Jersey names for me because we're going to like to keep it rated PG. Rated PG. Or PG 13. Dark Cloud. Gordon is a bleep. Gordon is a. <laughs> FYG. All that, all that stuff. Is Gordon. FYG, yeah. Keep it clean. I'm keeping it clean. We have four R. Back on the lanes. Well, double gives him the lead. If he doesn't strike here, advantage, even though it would technically be tied, advantage Andre Harrison. Back here for Ferrari, that looks good. Not good enough. A little Six tight, a little tight. tight. Again, yeah, advantage swings over to Andre Harrison because he's got the strike and he's already in the clubhouse with the strike. The momentum, like I said, the momentum is shifting. The momentum is shifting. This is, this is, this is key right now. But Daniel, to stay in the game, you gotta make this good and you gotta throw a strike in the next game. Well, not sure about staying in the game yet, but. Again, like Andre, can, Andre can command the pace right now. It seems like it seems like he's he's fishing for a line. That's why I say he's staying in the game. It seems like he's lost his his line. He's lost he's, he's lost in transition game. And that's why I'm saying he's keeping himself in the game. He needs to get his face and he needs to make the strike right here. Just 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 for confidence. Confidence boost. good for him to lose carry on both blades at the same time, especially if Andre can figure it out. And this is strike a little bit on one side or the other. Another 
Pistons keep himself in the game with strikes and spares. This is almost sort of like what we saw earlier in like games one, two, and three. This whole match is grind. Grind, 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 grind. Now, what can Andre figure out over here? Big shot for him for the frame. Again, he's going to definitely want to try to make some room between him and Jay. Taking a lead here, and again, keep in mind, this game he's got to have. He's got to have that one. I don't think he's missed on lane 14 last 10 He hasn't in a while. Last 10 shots on lane 14. Yeah. Looks like the lane opened up a little bit. Uh, I thought he was right on that and then came rolling back. So. Going up here. Harrison again has already taken the lead this game, looking to build it out. On double, moves. three in a row. Got it. Those have been the best pattern of strikes I've seen from him in a very long time. Absolutely. Uh, and now he's feeling it. Now he knows it. You can just tell. The saunter, if you notice, if you notice, he's starting to tap the table, tap the chair. He's got some sort of swag that's coming back. Right, he's getting some confidence. He's gaining some confidence here. He is. And, and this is going to spell trouble for Daniel. Again, this is, we spoke about this end of that last game. That's a game that we both thought that he needed to have. If he had it, the game would have been over. Now he's got to try to figure out how to either get back to this one or win game seven. That was a great shot. That is a very nice shot. He's got to carry, though. So right now, for those people that have just listened and just tuning in, this is an Arctic Cruiserweight matchup. Your champion, Andre Harrison, is winning this game. If he wins this game, he'll win game seven. And that is because Daniel Farrar, the challenger, is up three games to two. If Dan wins this, it is game set matches in Cruiser Champion. If he doesn't, we go to a game seven winner take all. I love game seven, by the way. I love the game seven. Game fun. Daniel right now, looking to double up. Wrong sort of double, six eight. Now the pressure. The pressure is on. Not that it's just fresh being on now. You saw the swagger that Andre Harrison had going back to the chair with people chatting with him. Yes. You haven't seen that all match. And he's been uncomfortable all match. Now, maybe at the end of the second game, he got a little bit, maybe a little bit in the fifth game, but now this is the first time that we're getting full blown Andre Harrison swagger. Not even fair. Remember when Dan was jumping up there? Game four, game five, he is now jumping up there. Game six. Good shot here for two reasons. Obviously, you want to increase the lead, but you also want to have the sense of we'll see you in game seven, swagger. Six frame here, second half. The ball's going to snap up a little bit. It does. Four in a row for Andre Harrison. You see the confidence that he's exhibiting. Yeah, there's a swag. There's a swag. There's a swag going on here. Yeah, he's got the Here, looking for five in a row. That ball's going to hold it. Does. Five in a row for Andre Harrison. And any thought of doubt that he had earlier is gone now. We are in full Andre Harrison swag mode. And what should be more concerning for Dan is all of a sudden people from DC Mafia are starting to show up and it's starting to get a little loud back here. Like you said, Gordon, Unholy Squad is ending. Unholy Squad is ending. Here comes the crowd. And they put us in the they put us in the right spot. It's by the bar. And, so, and we're by the bar. So everybody's gonna start mingling over here in eight, between the spot. Eight frame coming up. Uh, the best that Dan Farrar can do if he goes out the door is 225. Andre Harrison 280. I 
mean, theoretically, he does not throw a strike here in the eighth frame. The game is almost mathematically over. And high game seven. Glenda uh, Freeman, when you feel it, you feel it. Sir, He's absolutely it. right. You get a game seven, I'm going to call everybody over here. So I'm going to take a run down the down the that, You're going to have to make it very, very quick. But yeah, so so everybody, there's a double. I'm going to bring my mic and tell everybody we got a game seven. By the way, I'm hearing the comments on, on the uh, scoring, Michael. I will take care of that after this game. We'll see how that works again. We're putzing around here with the sound and stuff for earlier, so I really do appreciate your feedback coming in. Oh, six in a row. I was say, the audio behind me will let me know whether or not he hits it or doesn't. He doesn't hit it. He's got a 10 base. However, the damage has been, it's not completely over, but the damage has been done this game. Best Dan can do if he goes out the door at 225. If he just marks out, it's 239. So the game is not completely over yet, but Dan's gonna need some help from Andre Harrison. And right now he's not getting it. And there's Ashley Porter. Ashley Porter has said some stuff. I'll say bleep, bleep, bleep. I'm glad you bleep woke up. You can fill in what the bleeps are. It is not Merry Christmas, even though they've both been giving prizes away. Andre Welbine, lanes are coming to namesake right now. It's a lane's transition. Absolutely right. By the way, shout out to Andre Welbon. I'm hoping I'm seeing him sometime today. Nice frame, big shot here, big shot there. Basically, any mark from Andre Harrison in the 10th frame, and we're going to see game seven. If Dan does not go out the door, we are seeing a game seven. If Dan does not go a strike now, we are seeing a game seven. Put some doubt in Andre's mind right now. Uh, uh, he does not. That's a seven pin, and mathematically the game's over. We're going to a game seven. And right now, you see Ashley Porter whispering, I'm not going to say sweet nothing, loud, 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 lots of things. I'm surprised that game seven. All right, doing an audio check here. Check, check. Uh, so doing that, uh, do, do me a favor. We did, uh, you guys were talking about that uh, audio camera. I uh, the audio on the camera, so we muted it. Let me know if that's any better. If it is great, because again, we got four more, we got three more of these coming and four more of these this weekend. So this is the first time that we're doing this setup. Uh, and again, I appreciate everybody listening in and chiming in, and we take you guys seriously. The Atlanta area, another team, Leonard Freeman. Yeah, that would be great. More teams in the Atlanta area. You know what would be really fun here, Josh? Getting teams coming in. 
now we have a district in Texas. Right. We obviously have stuff in Atlanta. I would love is to have Vegas, stuff. Is the Vegas uh, district still up? Uh, well, the, there hasn't been a Vegas district, but they are planning on doing it. Right. Um, I would love to also see like that little gateway coming across from the southeast. From the south so you got Hollywood. like Atlanta. You got. I'd love to see Louisiana. Louisiana. That would be oh, fun. Yeah, yes. Battle Bowl you know, New got, Orleans. Battle Battle, Bowl yes, New Orleans. Battle Bowl New Orleans. Battle Bowl New Orleans. Let's do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh we got so, Texas. Big shout out to SP. Yeah, SP. big shout out to SP. Big shout out to SP. Okay. One of the, uh, Chad, one of thank you very much for the feedback. All right, that's good. Thank you, Chad. All right, so we're going to game seven. <coughs> I see. Well, he's going to anything can happen. Seven. Anything can happen with a throw time. Yeah, Andre, Louisiana would be awesome. Yes, it would. All right. Thanks. I appreciate, again, appreciate the feedback. And I know Leonard's torturing me. I was right by Hefs. Hefs, by the way, one of the best seafood places ever. Ever in the Southeast. I'm not a seafood person. Uh, I, I went food coma twice over at Hefs. <laughs> I went food coma twice Hefs. over at Hefs. Down south. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, that's the South Louisiana, always? Yeah, oh, we got Wait, SB, we got Houston, Texas. That's we got Texas. Hopefully soon yeah. we'll have Ohio. They got Atlanta. Yeah. They got another yeah. team in Atlanta. Atlanta. Get some information right here. Shout out to PA. PA yeah. just uh, got to open up a new team. Uh, Phantoms. Phantoms in Pennsylvania. Yeah, as, as we're chatting right now about the Southeast and the expansion of the UVA, the more the mirror, I want to see, I want to see I, New Orleans. I want to see New I Orleans. I want to see New Orleans. New Orleans Nashville. They're gonna come out with voodoo dolls and stuff. <laughs> Gotta be careful. New Orleans, What's Nash voodoo dolls? Because I'm Spanish, I know about that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna be like this. Yep, exactly. uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. You, you mean all the people that are so annoyed at you that there'll be a cavalcade of voodoo dolls yeah. with Rudy Felicio's name on Oh, no, I have many on. of those. I accepted my haters. I love them, too. Okay, <laughs> okay. anyway, what we're accepting is that we're seeing a game seven. We are. At the end of game six, 238, 192, Andre Harrison. We are tied three games apiece. We're going to a game seven. And now... Yeehaw. Now the pressure is on Daniel. You are up three to one. You ultimately had the game, had the match, had the belt, and now we. Here's the belt. He could have had it. You were dangling. Could have had it. Bant was dangling. Could have had it. And now Harris has so much confidence right now. He's got yeah. the swag. You can see he's out. Well, he's not, out not only that, but Ashley Porter is now. Ashley Porter is no longer running around. No. Ashley Porter is here. In the flesh. Does not have to run around. You don't have to run around. Where's the fan? So now you're gonna use it as a weapon, like one of those maces. You're gonna like wield it around. Okay. Yeah. Only, just, only you... just do me a favor. Let me know if you do it, so I will just move yeah, back. Yeah, move back. And then yeah, you can. Tell you, Gordon, I got you. Yeah, you gotta okay. want us. And don't don't hit him. If Rudy Feliciano comes yeah. back, you can go hit him. <laughs> nah, just kidding, just kidding. We love you, Rudy. Game seven. Here we go. Game seven. So now both both uh, both contenders started taking a break. Both competitors. And this is only the first match. So we got three more today. today. It's only match one. This is gonna be. I a got great DeAndre over there. You can hear the camera guy. DeAndre, weekend. you having fun? <laughs> He's having fun. There's only one match. You got three more of these today. <laughs> Gotta get in gate seven. He's smiling. We'll see if he's smiling later on today. After that fourth match goes to game seven, and I have no voice left. We'll see if he's still smiling later on today. I'm waiting right now. This is something interesting that I have not seen. Uh, yes. Josh, uh, now did you just notice I just what saw, I just noticed? I just saw that. Well, take the look on his face. Now, there's a big vat of mustard in a cup that Dan just took and a went shock. inhaled like a shock glass. Like a shock glass. Like a traditional UVA bar. Somebody held that. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. He just took a, he just took a shot of mustard. A shot of mustard. A shot of mustard. <laughs> Is that a shot of mustard that you just took? Okay. All right. Got it from the guy itself. It was a shot of mustard that he just took. I, I, I thought that was the same Inquiry thing. Minds may want to know that. Like, like what? Why? Why are Gordon? Why is Gordon and Mr. Valdez over here cringing? And that's why we're cringing. <laughs> Josh and I are cringing because we just saw a shot of mustard being taken. 
Interesting. That could be a new UBA tradition. Right. You lose right. the game, you have to take a shot of mustard. Yeah, lose the game. All right, right. I'm, I'm going to... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. A little cramping. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, Keith Perry, I agree. That, that heavyweight matchup is going to be a fantastic one. I absolutely agree with you on that. So, yipes. Okay, right here, right now, Dan. We have the Dan fan club. We have everybody's fan club. Lennon Freeman's right. There is no room for error. Not at all. So, by the way, Unholy is at Bolarama, which is where we are. So, uh, I trust your mic. It's going down. Your, your mic is sagging. Got a sagging mic. All right. Thank you, Chad. Yeah, we're, 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 there we go. We try to educate here. Yes, we are. Apparently, hot mustard is good for cramps. Hot mustard is good for cramps. Oh. Apparently. I thought it was only bananas and, uh... Who knows? Mustard, okay. And add, uh, add that up there. So, yeah, by the way, yes, there, there is a district in Atlanta. I know we're saying we'd love to see teams in Atlanta. There is a district in Atlanta. We want to see more teams in Atlanta. So, uh, and it is being led by DSL, which is Dirty South Legends. Dirty South Legends. I'm going to, um... I'm, I'm We're excitable I'm actually, up here. We like chatting about everything. I'm actually visiting Atlanta in a few weeks, so if there's a tour stop on the 23rd, please let me know because I want to come by. I'll be uh, in free. If there's a tour stop on the 23rd, let them know. I'll be in Atlanta. I'm actually going to be in Nashville, oh, uh, potentially never, down there. I've never visited. Nashville. I have never been in Nashville either, but I, but but I want to. I want to go. Good. Oh, wait, wait. Mustard reacts quicker while you're still active. Bananas work better when you're sitting. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I learn something every day, man. Something every day. Something every day. So anyway, I'm waiting. Who is Who starts this match? I believe you do. All right? So whenever you're ready. Whenever the mustard is kicked in. I don't know if the mustard is kicked in or not. Now, again, I, I'm going to say non sequitur, and if you just joined us, you're going to be like, what the heck are you talking about? We're talking about Dan, and his name is Daniel Son. And it's because his group does the Karate Kid themes. So I'm wondering if, like, mustard is part of what they do. Wax on, wax off, wax mustard. I don't know. That could be a Karate Kid thing. It could be a Karate Kid thing. I'm going to ask for, for those that are Karate Kid fans, if, is that there? No, there is not. It is next Sunday. So, uh, wah, wah. All right, another time. All right, let's see if the mustard helped Dan. Dang. Oh, power the mustard for Dan. That's the way to start. That's the way to start a game. So, here we go. This is what it is. It is game seven. This is it. Whoever wins this grabs the Northeast Cruiserweight Championship. If it is Andre, he holds onto it. If it is Dan, it is not only is that his first title, it is the first title for the franchise of Frame for Murder. Frame for Murder. First title for Frame for Murder. It would be theirs. Either way, as it has been pointed out, Belt will stay in the DMV. But who will it be staying with? Harrison, right now, first shot. That ball looks good. It looks nice. It looks ten penny. It's ten penny. Yes, I would love to see a district in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes. Oh, Kentucky. Yes, 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 yes. Derby City, all right, we can do it. Right. Yeah, absolutely reach out to us. I know that we've been, in, obviously with Texas, we've been expanding out there. Kentucky is definitely within range. Harrison right now looking to make this fair. Uh-oh, oh, no, hold on. Ooh. It held up. Were you nervous? Because I was a little nervous. I was, I was definitely nervous. I thought that was one in the pitch. I, think, I don't know if he would be nervous about that or more nervous about Ashley Porter right there with that look <laughs> of, if you miss this, yes, she will not be happy and she will say really lots of bad things about you. And you're milk done. And you're milk done. Second shot here, working off the spare. Oh, you got to down. Strike. Ask him to spare a strike. Game seven. Game seven. They, they, we've been bullied forever. It's game seven. It's the last one. All right, here's Dan right now. Daniel was up three to one. Yep, Daniel was up three to one. It's now three to three. 
now it's three to three. And while Andre just threw a strike, it is Daniel that's got control of this game. Another strike gives him a double. He'll take the quick lead over in game seven. If he hits it, which he... Oh, he will! 7-10 goes down! We got some and as you can here. tell over here, the quietness of what just happened says two things. Number one, I don't know where his fan club is. Right. And number two, he shut down Andre Harrison's fan club. Right. And that was, that's the power of the mustard right there. Right. Wax seven pin, wax 10 pin. Who knew? Yeah, who knew about the mustard? I'm gonna try that. I, I, I really can't, really, I'm really not a big mustard fan, but what the hell's with the cramping? I don't know. Third shot here, looking for a triple. Got it. Oh. Three in a row, buried. buried. And obviously, a quick challenge early to the champion. Early to the champion. Maybe stay on pace here. And just hope for a tap. Anthony Coates, let's go. Daniel, show him he isn't ready for retirement life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, if he does happen to win this, and by the way, we're chatting also on this, I'll say a little bit more once. Andre's done with the shot, so this is a really big one. He's got to keep pace. Go, go! And that, that shot's light. So, Leonard Freeman just chimed in, and he said the winner gets either him or Kevin Decker, but it's going to be him. Well, that is that. Well, that is he's absolutely correct. Whoever wins this goes to Mega Bowl. Mega Bowl. And that will be North versus South. North versus South. So there will be no title. He will not be defending at Mega Bowl, but it's a North versus South challenge for a lot of money. For some change. For some change. For some change. Cash and chains. Cash and checks. Like I, cash like and checks. Ignore me. Cash and checks. Start coming up. And he got it. And th this is the wrong time for his look on lane 14 to vanish. Right. I mean, lane 13, he's finally got it. Now he's got to figure out lane 14. He didn't, and, and he didn't miss on lane 14 for like three games. No. Like, remember now, when we said on game five, he's right. got to figure out lane 13, 13 very quickly. quickly. This is game seven. He's got to figure out lane 14 very, very, very quickly. Shot coming up. The ball looks. Oh my goodness! I was about to say that ball looks good, but it's coming up high. It's came up high. Six eight. <laughs> yeah, this is a very inopportune time to start doing that. The first three frames in a game seven. First three frames in game seven are huge because they're setting the pace. But what makes but what makes it even worse? is that if you're opening and your opponent is going strike, right. strike, strike. First three frames are huge. First three, four frames are huge in a game I mean, You want to start off early. You want to you wanna get ahead. You want right to work now, ahead. You do. Like, and, and right now, if Dan throws two, the deficit is 53 pence. And that's, that's almost in, insurmountable. Not insurmountable, but you Almost need a lot. You, you need, need you need Cobra Kai to come over. <laughs> you need that fan to come over there and like glue his leg. You need all sorts stuff of stuff up. to happen. Yeah. Dan, fourth frame. Yeah. Buried. Buried. Now all of a sudden Buried. he looks confident on both lanes. Both lanes. You can see he's struggling a little with his hands. Maybe that's why he had the mustard. That, the I, well, he's talking about the cramps. No, I'll guarantee you that cramping was in his hand, and that's why he did the shot class of mustard. Yeah, and he's, he's uh, you know, rubbing his hands out, moving his hands, but he's still striking, so something's working. This, this whole match is going to grind. All right, let's call for the round of tickets for the winning child to fall in. Let's call for the round of tickets. They are going to Front four for Dan. I mean, there's two there's two things that need to happen for Andre to get back into it. Number one, he's got to start striking, but number two, he's got to stop striking. Because if he keeps striking, it does not matter what Andre does. Fifth frame here, looking for five in a row, got it. 
buried, no doubt about it. You can see that little walk out, so the confidence There is the walk back. coming from Danny, he's still grabbing that hand. The confidence is back from Danny. You see the little walk out at the end? Oh. He, he needs his hand to function for six more frames. Six, six Actually, more I'm sorry, frame. five more frames, six more shots. And, and he's getting a massage here on the side. I wish I had that during right? the match. You go in there, you get your own massage. You don't even have any fans here, but you obviously yeah. have yeah. There's Safa Andre. Now keep in mind, if Andre goes out the door, it's a 247. That's nothing to sneeze at. The problem is the first five shots, well, the second one, you have the split 710. Third, fourth, and five were buried. So he needs to see if Cobra Kai can, like, bust up his hand and, like, throw some more cramping sauce on there. But the other thing is this. That this is almost every shot now that Harrison's throwing has got to be a must hit. Here we go. Six straight for him. Got to have it. Does not. Ten pin. Because again, back and forth, Dutch is no good. It's got to be carry. You have to, you have to strike it. Near it in. You have to have three more now. Yeah, it's not the first couple where it's grind, grind, grind. This may come around where eighth, ninth, and frame in 10th frame, Daniel will be so far up, even if he does open, it's not gonna matter. Looking to make the 10th pin, he will. However, the, the storyline here in game seven is Dan Farrar front five. That's your game. That's your game. That's your game. If he can strike right here, that would Six shot here for Dan Farrar. Buried. Six in a row. In he's a stringing. Row. He's still putzing around with the wrist. That's got to be what's cramping up. Right now, it doesn't a, matter. He was getting a massage on the side over here. Um, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him much. No. He, he's grinding, he's grinding. Four frames away from the Northeast title and one or two frames away from the game being mathematically over. Seventh frame coming up. That ball looks good. No, it doesn't. No, you missed that. It looked okay until it tugged and it went up and it went up high and then it's no longer good. He was inside on all the other ones. That one, yeah. he went outside too early. A little bit too far. He shot that like a rocket. This well, is, if Andre, makeable, Andre Harrison needed a break, there it is. This is makeable. All right, pickle juice. We have pickle juice for the cramps. Right. Oh, I heard. I've heard, I've heard, I heard about that. I have heard about pickle juice. Pickle juice is apparently pickle juice. Gonna make the spare? Oh. oh. Apparently pickle juice is good for a lot of things. Hey, 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 hey. Everything. Like this. Come on. Apparently pickle not. juice is good However, for however, he's got a 174 in the seventh frame. Let's start doing math. Andre can close the gap to 37 pins with three frames left to go. Six, what are you doing? 264. Out the door, that would be 227 if he goes out. And if he does go out for 227, that means somewhere along, actually, no, he just needs marks at this point. Daniel just needs more. Yeah. Another cat. Yeah, Daniel goes Dutch. It's a, Daniel goes Dutch. It's a 234. 234. So, so basically, Andre's got to go out the door. And if, let's put it this way, if Dan gives him a shot to win, that would be, we're talking about Santa Claus and gift giving, that will be the biggest the gift biggest giving the gift. UBA has ever had. First things first, Harris, oh, double dribble, got a hold, does, oh, oh. he's a 10, oh, no. Almost, almost got a miracle. And that bad shot may just about seal this one. Because now it went from 220 to 207. Dan's already got a two. Dan's already got a 174. He needs one mark. One mark. One mark. He wins the title. 
Andre Harrison, very, very impressive. Got to game seven. But game seven, he didn't find the carry, and Dan did. Still shaking out that hand. Well, still got to get a mark. Still got to get a mark. Still got to get a mark. Saying, it was saying all over, but if, if the game's not mathematically over, it's not over. But it's getting real close. If we hit this, we got a new champ. Hey! Got a new champ. So he's got a 184 plus count, puts him in the 190s. Again, 207. Is a, is a magic one. Mathematically, it's not over. It's not over, but, but. But. It's a long shot. You can see the grimace on his face after he threw that strike. His wrist has got to hold on for two more frames. There actually is sort of mini drama here because if you can't hold on to that bowling ball. He almost made that real almost, interesting. Almost made it interesting. Andre's right. Good, good count and spirit. It's over. He almost left the big four. He almost left the big four. Yep. A strike definitely would have ended it. A spare pretty much ends it. As long as his wrist holds up. Now, now we have a little bit of drama, but in that direction. Right, in that direction. Can he physically end the game? Like I told you before, he doesn't he doesn't throw a spare ball, so he has to have change in and his he throws speed on this. Yeah, he has to change his, his angle. Oh, and he and well, and he, okay. so, he needs six. He should get six. He should get six. But what is the status of the wrist? But we still need uh, Harrison and to we need to Andre to throw Andre, to go out the door. Needs, Andre needs to go out the door anyway. Oh, you're absolutely right. He's fighting through the pain right now. But if Andre does not throw a strike here, this match is over, and it does not matter what Dan does in the 10th frame. Everybody get your raffle tickets out. We're about to pull the ticket for the many raffle. Got to be a strike. Oh! Champ is not, Champ is not going back down. I, this is going to go to the 10th frame in game seven. That's all you want. That's all you want. The champ is not going back down. I mean, again, you never know. He could throw a he could throw a Greek church. He could throw golfing. He could. There's lots of different things. He could be in too much pain, throw a Greek church, and then all of a sudden put the ball in the gutter or miss. You don't know. If you want to beat the champ, you got to beat the champ. You want to beat the champ, you got to beat the champ. He's not gonna give it to you. Again, he's showing that right now. He's got a striker. This is over. Tenth frame. Got to have this one. And he does. That's one. So got to put the ball in the lane. Got to put the ball in the lane. Gotta... And again, he puts it too high up on the beak. We've seen weird things happen. Have. I have never it's... seen a match in that way, but there's always a first for everything. And, and Gordon's here. And Gordon is here. <laughs> so, so you never and know. And Gordon is here. Gotta have this one too. Done. Now I'm sure he was wondering where was that earlier? Because if he threw the strike in the eighth, that would have been real interesting. That would have been very interesting. Front six and going to 17, and then all of a sudden you're forcing him to mark. I'm sorry, it would have been more than 217, yeah. Forcing the mark. If, if he struck in the eighth, he would have. But he did not. Well, Andre has done as well as he can go.
if you need six, six game, set, match. A lot of people are wishing for a church. Or a big four, or not a big four. Game, set, match. Oh, that's enough. It is that is enough. We have a new cruiserweight Congratulations champion. to Dan Farrar, your new Northeast cruiserweight champion. And he'll be going down to Mega Bowl for North versus South against somebody. somebody. And we'll find out who that somebody is in a couple of days. Leonard Freeman or Kevin Decker? I'll take Kevin Decker. That was just, one hell of a match. Just because I want to get under Leonard Freeman's skin. <laughs> but we cool. We cool, Leonard. Right, when he's done with the last shot, pull him over here. I'm going to do the interview. That's true. We're done. Oh, yeah, well, I, I, I had a good read. Oh, let me see if I didn't hit it. He's going to strike out like the new champion does at the end of game seven. Dan Farrar, 232. And more importantly, you won four to three. I'm going to shake that hand and not that one. Good job. So I'm going to point you over here because here's a camera. Yeah, one to one. First of all, congratulations. There's a title. Andre, great match. Great match, Andre. All right, how's that left wrist doing? Yeah, it's tight. And I'll, I'll let you chat into this because you don't have a mic. How's that left wrist doing? It's tight, but I had to push through. I had some good support back there helping to keep my uh, hand from locking up. But you got to do what you got to do. That's what champions do. They fight through adversity, keep going until it's all over. Is that mustard that you're shooting down there? Mustard and pickle juice. And pickle juice. Must mustard and pickle juice. Yes. OK, we're going to slide over a little bit here so the oil can so, go through. So uh, Josh, when, the next question from you. After you are 3 to one you lost game six. Mm -hmm. Was there, were you feeling a little pressure? Was, what, like, what was, what was your thinking after you lost game, game six? Well, game, my, game five, sorry. My thought after game five, I still got, I still got to win four. He still got to win four. Right. I just got to keep going, keep pushing through. And once I lost game six, it's do or die. I got to step up. I know I'm, I know I'm cramping. I started cramping at the end of game five. I was like, all right, I got to get this. I got to figure out what's going on. I got to get the cramp out. Whatever I got to do, I got to do it to score. And after game six was done and he had one game six, there's nothing else I could do. It's either figure it out, to strike, or lose. Was was the the long break with the scoring machine and the, the lanes a factor in this? I would say no, and the reason I say that is because when all before all of that, uh, after all of that went down, is when I started getting the, uh, the when I ran out to get the pickle juice and went and got the uh, and got the mustard because it was cramping, but I was able to get it out a little bit enough to throw the ball. But once it really started locking up, I had to do what I had to do. Yeah, no, you, you had a great shot over here. And now, how does it feel? First title for you, first title for Frame for Murder. It feels great. I put a lot of work into it. Andre is a great champion. He's a great friend. We both are firefighters. He works for Prince George's County. I retired from Montgomery County. So much, much respect for him. Uh, he held this for several months. Great champion. I know I'll see him again. Uh, let's chat about something because your next match, you will not be defending the title. Your next match will be at Battle Bowl, and you'll be going after the Mega Southeast Bowl. Cruiser. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully Battle Bowl. <laughs> right, right. Next one, Mega Bowl. You'll be going up against the Southeast champion, whoever that is. We'll find that out later in a couple of days. Do you have any preferences in who you want it to be? No. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm going to bowl my game. They're going to bowl their game. And whoever wins on the lanes is who's going to win on the lanes. I can just tell you one thing, though. I'm excited and ready to see whoever it is. 
Uh, last question for you. Any shout outs? Anything you want to say? Yes. I want to shout out Frank for murder. It's our first title. We're going to keep it as long as we can. My wife, Amanda, thank you. Love you. My kids, Xavier, Madison, Josiah. I know that y'all watching and all my family and friends out there. Appreciate y'all's support. We brought the title back home. Oh, yeah. Motive. Number one. That's who we are. Motive got the cruiserweight title and the heavyweight title right now. All right. Uh, thanks. Congratulations. 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 Uh, again, at the end, your final. Got new cruiserweight champion, Dan Farrar, 4 3 over Andre Harrison. Uh, we got three more matches coming up. We'll be only back. Match one. This is only match one. Tune in. What? Tell him if he won. That way. It's his moment, not yours. I love you, Shaq. Yo, I throw I throw nothing but motive to it. I want somebody to do commercial or something. Where's your venom shot? Where? Why? In here? I need to do a commercial. Oh, absolutely, yes.